Hey Vanity Fair, this is Irish Slang, and I'm Niall Horan. I'm looking forward to seeing some of this. <laughs> sham is a word that you would use in a greeting. It's like bud or pal or whatever you go. All right, sham. Number two, banjax. <laughs> I guess the real definition would be broken down. Like if the car was, if a car was pulled over on the side of the road and it, its tire was hanging off, you'd say that car is banjaxed. Or banjax could mean when you're absolutely obliterated drunk and you're like, I ban you were absolutely banjax last night. That kind of thing. <laughs> Gammy. Gammy kind of means um, a little bit messed up. Um, Gammy is a word I would use a lot. So that's my gammy knee. I have toes that are all a bit weird and I call them my gammy toes. Bogger. I am a bogger. If you're from Dublin, you think that Dublin is the only place that exists in Ireland. When the tourists go to Ireland, they tend to just stick to Dublin. Oh my God, I love Temple Bar. I go there for a Guinness, even though it costs 11 dollars, 11 pounds, euros even, for a pint of Guinness. There's two words for people from outside of Dublin that live in the country, and they're called culchies, but God knows, and bogger. So you live in, you're meant to live in bogland. Flute. Flute is the Irish word for penis. Sure. My Irish dictionary is that it meant silly person. So no. <laughs> when you are firmly wrong, because it means penis, you're welcome. Heap. There's two ways to say it, heap or heap, depending on where you're from in Ireland. If I was standing outside the pub, went in to check if there was many people in there, and I'd come back out and I'd say, yeah, there's a heap of people in there. Just mean loads. Now we're some country, aren't we? Boyo. Boyo kind of like, you know when you see the English people, they got lads, lads, lads. Like do all that. Well, we're our version of that is the boyos. Cod. It's basically to kind of like tell someone a lie. You'd say something sarcastic, they'd go, really? And then you go, I'm only codding you. And that's how you would use it. I'm only messing with you. I'm only codding you. The liar de anexire <laughs> It's basically a Dublin phrase that they would say, where it means delighted and excited. Delighted and excited definitely doesn't sound as, as good as Delighted and excited. Donkey's ears. This is a good one. One of my favorite Americanisms is, oh my God, I haven't seen you in like a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, we would say, Jesus, it's been donkey's ears. It's been donkey's ears since I seen you. And I don't know what that really means. I guess donkey's ears are old and they've been around for a long time. Dosser, another word for like, we, the other word we would use is messer. A dosser, just some, kind of someone that kind of dosses, like doesn't really do much work, is a bit of a lazy person. Egypt. There's a, two ways to say this. Egypt, and just replace the G, the J with a G, and it's Egus. It basically means you're a fool, you're an idiot. I get that a lot. Yeah, that's a word. That, that's a that's a common Irish word said in most sentences. Jacks. The Jacks is another word for the restroom. Jackine. Jackine is like the boggers version of what we would call Dublin people from Dublin. We would call them Jackines. So we're boggers and culchies and to us, they're called jackings. A Joe Maxi simply means taxi. How she cutting? How she cutting means, like, how's, how are things? It's kind of like, it comes from farmers cutting their fields. Owl fella basically means old man. Owl one, old woman. My owl one, my, my mother. I mean, how derogatory is this? Sucking diesel. I'm glad you took out the G. Sucking diesel is kind of like, now you have it. Like if you're struggling with something and then you get it, and then someone would say, Oh, now you're sucking diesel. <laughs> tick. So we would say that I would say tick, which means angry. So if someone was getting angry at me, I'd say, why are you getting tick? Or if they didn't take it, if they took a joke of mine too serious, but I don't get tick about it. To throw shapes, the verb, to throw shapes. Kind of chest out, kind of looking for a fight, kind of sticking your chest out, throwing all sorts of, Conor McGregor throws shapes. A lot of like, a lot of that. We would use this also looking for a fight and also when you're on the dance floor. Look at him, he's pulling some serious shapes on the floor. <laughs> this is a good one. Effing and blinding. Which basically is kind of like a lot of swearing. And he was effing and blinding and he was do saying this and saying that and he was basically, it basically means, the effing is another word for obviously. So he's and blinding. Complaining, he was doing a lot of swearing. Cursing, cursing is the word, word, the word we would use for swearing. Um, that was interesting. I actually didn't realize, well, I had a feeling how ridiculous we were. But having read them and seen them in bold capitals, I, know, I now know that we're absolutely insane. 
So this has been Irish Slang on Vanity Fair with me, Neil O'Horan. <laughs>